Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I shall be giving you a look at the flexible new support for unpitched percussion now available in Dorico 1.2, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. It all starts in setup mode, where you add your unpitched percussion instruments to players. This still works as normal, but with unpitched percussion, you often require the player or players to perform several different instruments. And now in Dorico, you can arrange unpitched percussion instruments into a kit. A good example of a kit is a drum set that consists of a number of separate instruments mounted together on a frame, all played by the same person, typically written on a five-line staff, with each instrument given its own position on the staff and sometimes its own note head type. Similarly, a pair of bongos are a percussion kit consisting of the two bongo drums and typically written on a grid with two lines, the smaller drum shown on the top line and the larger drum shown on the bottom line. You can identify percussion kits belonging to a player as they are colored green on the player's card. Individual percussion instruments are still colored the same light blue as all other instruments. Sometimes, keeping percussion as individual instruments will be what you need, especially in the case where one player has just a couple of instruments to play that would ideally be handled with Dorico's easy instrument changes presented on the same percussion line. However, Dorico 1.2's new percussion kits offer more flexibility with how music for players with several percussion instruments can appear. The music belonging to a percussion kit can be shown in one of three types of presentation, and each layout in your project can use a different presentation type if needed. Firstly, all of the instruments in a kit can be shown together on a single five-line staff, with each instrument allocated its own staff line or space. A single staff label will be displayed, and you are able to show a percussion legend, either with all of the instruments on the staff, or only those instruments sounding at a particular point. The second option is using a percussion grid, where each instrument is shown on its own line, but sharing a single clef, time signature, and so on. And it's possible for notes to be written in the spaces directly above and below the line if needed. The lines of the grid are typically two or three spaces apart, and not all of the lines have to be equally spaced from each other. The grid can have flexible staff labeling, with each instrument labeled separately or several instruments grouped together with a single label. The final option is displaying as individual instruments, with each instrument shown on its own individual line, but this time with its own clef and time signature, etc. And again, it's possible for notes to be written in the spaces directly above and below the line. Dorico 1.2 ships with a number of percussion kits, and you add them in the same way as any other instrument. For example, when I search for woodblock, I can choose one of these individual woodblock instruments, or this woodblocks kit that contains multiple instruments. You can also create your own kits. If you already have a player with unpitched percussion instruments, you can right-click the player in setup mode and choose Combine Instruments into Kit. If the player already has kits, they will all be combined into the first kit. The Edit Percussion Kit dialog then opens to allow you to edit the resulting kit. You can also create a new empty percussion kit from the Instrument Picker by clicking the Create Empty Kit button. With the Edit Percussion Kit dialog open, you can now add instruments to the kit using the Add New Instrument button in the action bar at the bottom here. You can also pull in unpitched percussion instruments and their music from other players, or remove an instrument from the kit so that it appears as an individual instrument that can be moved to another player or into another percussion kit. You can also choose a new percussion instrument to replace the selected instrument, or delete an instrument altogether along with its music. At the top of the dialog, you can set the full and short names for the kit, which will be used as the staff label when using the five-line staff presentation type. When editing the presentation for the five-line staff, the numbers down the left-hand side of the editing area correspond to staff positions. 
Position 0 is the middle line of the five line staff, and nominal staff line positions above and below the staff are shown with grey lines. You can easily drag and drop instruments to new staff positions, and multiple instruments can share the same staff position, though it is advisable to ensure that they use different note heads so that the player can tell them apart. We can move on to editing the grid presentation by clicking this button. You change the order of the instruments on the grid with these up, down arrow buttons in the action bar at the bottom of the editing area. The numbers on the right hand side correspond to the number of staff spaces between each instrument's line. By default, all instruments in a grid are two spaces apart. To change the gap between one instrument and the next, select the upper instrument and then set the gap value. Each instrument in a grid shows its own staff label by default, aligned vertically with its own line. But you can group adjacent instruments together and show a single label instead. For single line instruments, the editing area lists all of the instruments in the order in which they appear in the score. Again, use the move buttons to rearrange as required. There are some great options for setting the voices in percussion kits. When using the five line staff or grid presentations, Dorico will combine the music from each instrument into a smaller number of voices. By default, one upstem voice and one downstem voice. Alternatively, you can choose to notate all notes in a single voice, a convention sometimes followed for drum sets. You do this in the percussion page of notation options. If you have something more specific in mind, you can override this option by unchecking the drum set checkbox at the top of the percussion kit editor. Then, with an instrument selected, you can set the stem direction and choose to move it to a new voice if necessary by setting a unique number. You can also choose to notate only note onsets of overlapping notes in the same voice. Some playing techniques for unpitched percussion instruments, such as open or closed hi-hats, are added via the playing techniques panel or using the shift P popover. However, often different playing techniques are notated by using different note heads or by positioning the notes above or below the line. Dorico allows you to specify the set of playing techniques for each unpitched percussion instrument and even lets you add rules to determine how adding articulation and tremolo markings will affect the playback of these instruments. When instruments share the same staff position in the five line staff presentation, you can use the override percussion note heads dialog to disambiguate notes for one instrument from another. Now let's look at note input for percussion. In general preferences, there are some new note input options relating to percussion. These allow you to use a percussion map for input. For example, the general MIDI mapping that has bass drum on C2, snare drum on D2, and so on. Or to treat the five line staff as a treble or bass clef. So here with the treble clef option selected, typing an E on your computer keyboard, or playing the E above middle C on a MIDI keyboard would input a note on the bottom line of the five line staff. With this option, you can also trigger different playing techniques using another typically lower octave of your keyboard. When you are inputting onto a five line staff or percussion grid, the carrot is smaller than usual and a readout above the rhythmic grid shows you which instrument line you are writing onto. You use the up and down arrow keys to navigate to adjacent instruments and using shift alt up and down will cycle through any configured playing techniques. The Y key will input a note at the current position for the selected instrument. When you are inputting onto a five line staff, you can use the note name keys A to G to input directly onto an instrument if you know its position on the staff. Dorico makes intelligent decisions about which staff position to input onto. So you can, for example, type F, C, F, C, and so on to enter a kick and snare drum pattern without having to worry about stating the relevant nominal octave. When using the five line presentation type, it can be helpful to show which instruments are represented on the staff.
or to periodically remind the player which instruments are to be played. To do this, make a selection on the staff, right click and choose Percussion, Legend for all instruments. To create a legend that shows only the instruments that are sounding at the time, choose Legend for sounding instruments, or use the Properties panel to switch between the two types. When your legend is for sounding instruments, you can lengthen or shorten the range to be taken into account. As you would expect, Dorico handles the playback of unpitched percussion by default, but still gives you the control to use sound libraries you own and hear the desired sounds for each instrument and playing technique. The way this is achieved is via percussion maps. Percussion maps connect the written representation of notes and playing techniques for percussion instruments to the sounds that need to be played back by describing which instruments and techniques are present in a particular patch and how to play them. For example, which MIDI note to play, and optionally which other MIDI note should be used as a key switch to trigger a particular playing technique. Dorico comes with all the percussion maps it needs to control the Halion Symphonic Orchestra and Halion Sonic SE factory libraries that are provided with the software and will be automatically chosen when you add percussion instruments to your project. However, when you use third-party sound libraries or MIDI devices, you will need to define one or more custom percussion maps in order to obtain correct playback. Use the new Percussion Maps Editor found in the Play menu. Here, you create your own maps, listing which instrument is played on each MIDI note and defining any key switches as necessary. Once you have created your percussion map, the final step is to tell Dorico to use it. In play mode, click the settings button for the VST instrument or MIDI device that provides the patch corresponding to the percussion map. In the dialog that opens, make the appropriate selection in the percussion map column for the channel in which your percussion patch has been loaded. In play mode, unpitched percussion instruments are handled differently to pitched instruments. Instead of showing the usual piano roll view, the onset of each note on each percussion instrument is shown as diamonds. And because in Dorico 1.2 it is possible to input notes directly into play mode, you can select the Draw Percussion tool and click where you want the notes to be created, using the rhythmic grid to specify the note duration. Dorico's support for percussion is unparalleled, and we've designed it with real flexibility at its core. So whether you're writing for orchestral percussion, rock or pop drum kits, or large-scale film scores, you'll find that Dorico can support your needs. In fact, Dorico is the first scoring application to support the new Universal Indian Drum Notation System, including Tabla, developed by Kaida Music Limited. If you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it, and subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.